All right, everybody. Today I am going to be showing you the four strategies that we learned here at John F. Long to help us multiply. So some of you may have seen this symbol before. We call this the multiplication sign or the time sign. And multiplication is actually very easy as long as you know what multiplication is. So multiplication is just finding the total amount of objects when those objects are split up into equal groups. So if you keep that in mind, multiplication is very easy. When you see this time sign, you should be thinking groups of, okay? And if you can do that, you will have no problem multiplying. So if, for example, you saw a problem that said three times four, what you really should be thinking is three groups of four. And then all of these strategies you will be able to do very easily. So the first strategy we teach third graders is to make a picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing my three groups. And I'm just going to draw three big circles here. And then inside each circle, I'm going to put four dots. One, two, three, four. Once I have my three groups of four, to find my answer, all I need to do is count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there is my answer to the problem three times four. Using a picture, I get the answer of twelve. Now, an array is very similar to a picture model, but instead of doing three groups as circles, I'm going to do my three groups as rows. So I'm going to draw three lines horizontally across my paper. And on each of these rows, I'm going to put four objects. I like to use circles. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Again, I've got my three groups or three rows of four. So to find my total amount, I just need to add them up and count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The next strategy that I'm going to show you is repeated addition, and this works again the same way as these other strategies if I know that multiplication means finding the total amount of equal groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my three groups by just drawing a little underline, two and three. And on each of those lines, I'm going to put that number four. This time I'm just going to write the number four, four, now the name of the strategy is repeated addition and what that means is I'm going to add the same number over and over and over. So I'm going to add these numbers up, four plus four plus four, and that is going to give me my answer. So when I add four plus four, I get eight, and eight plus four more equals 12. And there's the answer to four times three using repeated addition. The last strategy and the one you'll probably use the most is skip counting. So when we skip count, we are going to count by one of these numbers. We can count by three, or we can count by four. So if I'm going to count by three, I'm going to count four times by three. Three, six, nine, twelve. So I can write that down. Three, six, nine, twelve. And there's my answer. So I'm counting by threes. This time I can count by fours, and I'm going to do that three times. Four, eight, twelve. So if you notice that any of these strategies that I used, whether it was a picture, an array, repeated addition, or skip counting, I get the same answer to the problem. So there you have it. Those are the four strategies that we teach here at John F. Long when you are learning to multiply. If you thought this video was helpful, go ahead and like it. We're also going to be making a lot more videos to help you with your learning this year, so stay tuned for those. And until next time, keep learning, Longhorns.